Maxon's Massacre begins in Justice League of America issue 9. Maxon's revenge comes to its crescendo as the JLA discover his sinister plans for all his surviving relatives at the party he is holding in their honour. The JLA arrive at the gathering in time to battle the feral man before he has a chance to kill any of his relatives. Telling the JLA that his family took everything from him by killing his surrogate dinosaur mother in the valley, Maxon surrenders after Batman manages to talk him down from his murderous rampage. Still angered that his family would get away with murder as well as control over his family's vast fortunes, Batman says that he dealt with them by leaking their financials to to the world and bankrupting them. Maxon returns to his old home in Monster Valley, telling Vixen and the Ray that if his now penniless family want to find him, they know where to look for him. Later while Batman and Vixen investigate the salt residue left over from Aegis' weaponry when it evaporated, Nadine Terrell, the mother of the Ray, is seen trapped in a mirror-like version of Philadelphia. Justice League of America issue 9 was a great final act to the two-part Maxon the Monster Man story that actually surprised me in that Maxon was never really a villain at all despite being painted like one in the first issue. His story was rather interesting and I was amazed at how much development we got on him in only two issues, especially a redemption story that has a good reason to happen. Sometimes these redemption stories or like revenge stories don't really have that good of a story and are kind of really paper thin just to get sort of some action and everything but this actually had a really good reason. The next story appears to maybe be Ray related so that's going to be interesting seeing as he's kind of maybe him and Ryan are probably the only two characters that I would like a slightly more character development from and it looks like we'll be getting that in the coming issues. I'm going to give this issue an 8 out of 10. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you'll check out my other reviews of comics out this week. You can also catch myself and Joel from Cape Joel in our weekly podcasts, Cape TV and the Comic Multiverse over on his channel, the Weekly Pool Archive channel, and on SoundCloud. Links to them can be found in the description below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and if you're feeling a touch generous, I have a cyber tip jar set up. Just follow the links below, and until next time, I am Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, and I will see you in another video.